Good morning from day three. It is currently around 7.45 a.m. and we just headed out to the Italian pool to try to get our seats for the day and there's already not really much availability. So if you do want your seats, be prepared to come out here before 8 a.m. There's some, but not really in the sun, still available. So if you want those really prime seats, you're probably gonna have to come out around 7 a.m. So get your day started early and get your seats at your desired pool. Can we sign up for snorkeling today? Today's full, so we have to book for tomorrow? Always a day in advance. Okay, can we do it for tomorrow now? Mm -hmm. We go to sign up for snorkeling because we wanted to go at 2.30 today, but it was actually full and it was even full in the later times tomorrow. So if you do want to go snorkeling, make sure you come and you sign up a day in advance, she said, or even maybe two days in advance if you want one of the prime later in the daytime. So it's kind of annoying, but I guess it is what it is. Today we're eating breakfast at Schooner's and what makes this special and way better than where we ate yesterday is first of all, it's a sit down. So it's just a little bit different than the buffet where you actually order your food. But second of all, the best part of eating breakfast on vacation is this view. Just look at this. I'm still pretty disappointed that we weren't able to go snorkeling today so I still want to try out some water sports and what we're gonna do next is head over to these sailboats which they're gonna take us out in and we're gonna get some crazy views of the whole island and the whole resort so from my understanding we just go walk up and we'll take us out right away so let's see how this goes We went on the sailboat and we had a really good driver and had an awesome time. So that's something you definitely got to check out. It was literally took us five minutes to walk up, sign the paper with a room number up on the boat and we were already out all the way quote unquote to Nassau as he said. So that's super fun for me, you gotta check out. And now we're back over to the Italian pool because there's an aqua fit class every weekday at 10.30 a.m. here. So let's check it out and see how it is. Four, one, two, one, two, one, two. We're doing this scavenger hunt right now and they gave us a list of stuff to get and we're running around the resort trying to find it. So we need a pamphlet and I think we can go to the lobby in the Italian village because that's the excursions desk and we should be able to find a pamphlet over there if I'm not mistaken. By any chance, would, would you guys have a tissue or just randomly looking for a tissue? Oh, that's a lot of tissues. Okay, right. thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Right. Got the tissues. Don't give in. Let's go. We have to be a little bit creative with some of it. Okay, so here's the list. Sunglasses, you got sunscreen. Glasses, sunglasses. sunscreen. I have my ebook that I was reading before. I normally we go for physically, but with, I couldn't we, find a physical book. Okay. <laughs> Are you vlogging? Yeah, I'm vlogging. You're a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, yeah, I make videos. Man, YouTube and the music skeptics. Calm down, I'll be the touch and cakes, man. That's what we all have the fun now. Go, just off the side of the resort, actually right behind the water park, but you come in through this area behind the Italian village, you'll find this market where there is a ton of independent vendors and they're open every day but Sunday, I believe, and you can come here and buy a ton of little homemade, handmade goods. So I got a necklace and I also got a bracelet. So make sure you come check this out if you're looking for things for yourself or gifts for others. Awesome. It's a great spot. Thank you so much, yeah. The beach is gonna be super packed from really early in the morning until probably around two to three o'clock. And then after that, it's gonna die down. You can get chairs pretty much anywhere pretty easily so if you're looking to have not too many crowds at the beach and really have it more open come in the afternoon go eat lunch and come afterwards and it's just super gorgeous as always sun's already starting to set a bit and it's only four o'clock right now Thank <laughs> you. 
We're just walking into the Friday night beach party right now and it looks hyped way bigger than the one that happened in beaches in Jamaica. It's located right near the Jerk Shack and there's a huge stage and a bunch of tables and a bunch of vendors right now. Wow. Oh! The Macarena! Who can do the Macarena? Name something people buy to show that they are successful. Talk to me, Carl. Cars. Cars. up at 6.50, kind of pissed over and off a bit because I'm going to the Italian village to get this like beautiful iconic photo with no one in the water where like the palm trees are lined up perfectly. Those are some snippets of the few nightly shows they have every night at beaches on the main stage. So they're truly amazing. And with that, we're going to wrap up this two-part series of my first time exploring beaches, Turks and Caicos. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to click the playlist on screen right now for all my other videos at Turks and Caicos. And if you're ahead of there soon, have an amazing trip. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.